This is the third uh, video in the new Mod.io plugin series uh, and here we look at fault finding and, and looking for difficulties. I first of all will show you how that you can display on screen the status of the Mod.io link uh, and what errors have appeared. Uh, I'm in the screen designer designing a, on a copy of the 1024 uh, and looking at the MDI screen I've used a little bit of spare space down here and placed uh, a user led and two user DROs. Now the user led uh, I've assigned OEM code uh, 102222 and the DROs I've assigned uh, 11111 and the other one is 11112. You can have uh, lots of these if you want because each mod IO will report its errors separately. So let's save that screen set, go into Mac 3, load up the version that we've just set up, copy of 10.24, and look at config for the plugins. Right, we'll config mod IO2. This is the second one in the list. If we configure it, something that we ignored before were the mod bus diagnostics. Now I've set up my user LED, which you remember was 1222, uh, in here. Previously we had minus one. That LED will be lit if the mod IO is OK. Or if you had a red one, we could have it lit if the mod I.O. was faulty. That's entirely up to you. This will be the configuration number uh, which is causing problems. Now you remember the configurations were listed in the mod bus setup. So there might be something wrong with the register range, something like that. Um, we're just going to simulate a simple failure like the power going off the mod I.O.s. Uh, the error code that we get, we're going to display in the other DRO. Now if we set up multiple DROs, we could have different ones for each mod I.O. Uh, I, I won't bother doing that. So that's configured. If we go to the MDI screen, uh, here are the controls we set up. So the green light is on because the mod I.O. 2 is all right. Uh, the error code is uh, minus 1 because all is well. Uh, and so that is irrelevant. If we take the power off we get an error. Now it's config number three which is causing us problems. That's just because it was the first one that was scanned I guess. Uh, and the error code is nine which means timeout. If we put the power back on Modbus protocol recovers. So no error. Uh, and minus one for the error line that's uh, referred to. So that is a way of looking at uh, during normal running the status of the Modbus devices. Now you might want to actually see what's going in on in Modbus registers uh, without writing a whole load of code and accessing them. So if we go to uh, set up Modbus control. This is the general feature, so it works for any Modbus device. There are the, the configs, config numbers. So number three, you see, was uh, the first config of Mod IO2 that was being scanned, so that was why it gave us the error. If we click the Test Modbus button, it will stop scanning, so the lights stop polling, uh, and we can now put in numbers, so COMPORT1 uh, 56 kilobodes. Uh, if we were going to look at Modbus 2, because that's the one that's got our uh, scanning matrix. Well, no, let's let's actually look at Modbus uh, slave address 1, uh, and let's just look at. Oh no, Modbus 2's got the got the uh, MPG on it, so it would be more interesting to look at Modbus 2. Uh, and we're going to look at the data in register. So you refer to the manual data in register 
appears at address 11.51. So we start at 11.51. Now we first have to open the mod IO. So we've set up which COM port. Uh, so we're going to open it. Uh, status is no error. So it has managed to find it. If we now read input registers we will get the value in the DN register and if I turn the MPG a tiny little bit and read it again you see the MPG bits are changing each time we click read. If you wanted to see more than one at once you could see the whole input block for example we could read uh, the, all nine registers there uh, and see them all at once so now as we do the read, if I change my MPGs, you can see the MPG registers are changing as well as the raw data on DN. So there's the time changing down there. So there are two techniques that may help in debugging mod IO devices.